they'd gotten rid of IQ testing, uh, and then they reinstituted it and found that there were a lot of gifted, uh, just naturally gifted, but poor black and Hispanic kids that were not going to be identified any other way except for a universal IQ test. And, uh, you know, my, my mother was a perfect exa example of this. She, she was born and raised in the South Bronx at the time where that was really one of the worst neighborhoods to grow up in, in the 60s and 70s. And she ended up going to Stuyvesant, the, the, the highly selective uh, public school, specialized public school in New York City on the basis of a test. Now, I can guarantee you, have, gr growing up in the kind of chaotic household where she did, uh, um, her, you know, her, her mother couldn't read, mother had a third grade education, crime all around her, drugs all around her. There was no way she was going to be able to do extracurricular activities, okay? She wasn't going to be uh, in six or seven different clubs. She wasn't going to be, uh, she wasn't going to have necessarily the best essays written that you know, written by committee by a committee of parents and tutors right really all she had was basically her smarts she you know all, all she had was a test of really her inner intellectual potential the ironic part about all of these other aspects are the the essays the the uh, club memberships leadership positions is that those favor privileged kids more than the actual test does. 